How are you guys? Good to see you. You look like a million bucks, man. I know, I got, yeah, I would call the elephant out in the room. I got a Boston accent. I'm from South Boston. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I know my accent makes me sound like I have a problem, like a severe problem with gender neutral pronouns. <laughs> I, do, I don't, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. But, you know, don't think I don't see the differences between men and women. Like, a man will never call his ugly friend a goddess. Oh my God, Bertha, your hair, that dress, you're a goddess. But ladies, you're compassionate, you're kind, you try to build each other up. Men, we don't do that. We're horrible. Your worst quality is your nickname. See that dude over there? His name is Marty Scarpaglio. We call him Morgmouth Marty because he's got 15 dead teeth and his breath smells like the inside of a tennis ball. That guy over there, Chucky O'Houlihan. We call him Jesus, because he's got a dad, but he's never met him or seen him, but he believes he's out there. <laughs> and that guy over there that looks like Scotty Jankowski, he looks like he's leaning on the air. We call him Scotty Scoliosis. <laughs> he's got scoliosis. <laughs> I'm a weird dude, man. I'm a weird dude. I grew up, like, I grew up in South Boston in the mid-90s. And um, <laughs> I um, recently was told by this woman that my accent makes me sound illiterate. <laughs> and it hurt my feelings because I got kept back in the third grade because I couldn't read. I'm, I was illiterate. <laughs> And to put it into perspective, you're eight in the third grade. That's when you first start playing Little League. If you don't have an older brother, you still believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> so I'm nine in the third grade, and I go through puberty full force. Full force, so weird, nine years old, going through puberty. I was trying to hold it in. Like Michael J. Fox at the beginning of Teen Wolf when he's changing into the wolf, he's just sweating. Like you're two blocks away from your house, you're sitting at a red light, and you got diarrhea and you're on your toes just like picking your ass up off the seat. I had a grown man's penis. You ever try to stuff a grown man's penis into a pair of Oshkosh bagashes? Mortifying. My voice started changing. When my voice started changing, it didn't do it like regular boys. I sounded like Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> my teacher was like, Mr. Fontaine, did you want to come to the front of the class and read your homework? I'm like, I'm going through some right now. <laughs> Call on somebody else, man. <laughs> when you go through puberty, your body's super sensitive. My body was like an Apple TV remote control. <laughs> And I had a really pretty young teacher, and I had a crush on her. And she would walk up and down the aisles, checking people's homework, just seeing what people were doing. She put her hand on my shoulder, my lunch money shot out of my pocket like a confetti can. <laughs> embarrassing, just embarrassing. <laughs> 